Hello again, guys, and welcome to the Ovi Fall Podcast. As always, I'm Nate Bahar here at the House Edge Media Studios. Today, we're joined on the phone with 5'11", 250-pound, 16-year-old. He, uh, he lives over on the Quebec side of things, but he's an Ottawa Myers rider. He's got, he played his JV ball last year, was a conference all-star, moved up to varsity. Mackenzie Richards joined us today on the show. Mackenzie, how are you doing today? How about you? I'm very, very well, my man. So here we have, we have a, a quiet giant. He's one of those guys who doesn't talk too much, but his play speaks for itself. He got his all-star nod. He helped bring the, the Myers Riders last year to the finals. They lost in a tight one against London. So, Mackenzie, tell us a little bit about your season. What was, how to go, and what were some of the highlights and lowlights for you? Um, I thought the season was pretty good, pretty successful. Obviously, we didn't have the, uh, the ending that we were hoping. Didn't end up getting that ring on our finger, but we were happy with it. We all played, played as a team, you know. Okay. Not one person stood out over the others. We made sure that we were all part. Okay, all right. What was that year of football like for you? I mean, it, it always changes, right, especially at that, around this age, around 15, 16. Maybe when you're 13 or 14, you're getting, you're getting bullied a little bit in the trenches. Then one year you might come alive and, and be that guy. Has it always been that you've been able to hold your own in there, or was this, was this one of your first years of really be, really be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, wow, I, I can play at this level? Actually, yeah. You know, I've played three years so far of OVSL, and my first year, you know, it was kind of rough because I didn't know anyone and I was super shy. So, but then I uh, came up, came up this year. You know, first time being a captain, first time being a starter right off the get go. So, when I came, I was super pumped, and I actually opened up. And you know, the confidence of being a senior and being a captain, you know, I realized that hey, I actually am a good player. So that was a that was a big boost this year. Absolutely. So. I think it made it a little tougher on you that you live sort of on, on the outskirts of town, you could say. So I know there's a lot of programs out there, not just Ottawa, whether it's Kingston or there's places like that where guys will have to drive in from 30, 45 minutes away, and they're not always going to high school with the same kids they're playing with, because I know, I'm sure you know, a lot of guys in your team probably went to school together. So is it tougher for you, breaking into the crowd, I guess you could say, when you're, when you're from a little bit farther away? Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's, it's a big change, because go from knowing everyone at school, knowing everyone on my team for school, and then I get to Myers, and, you know, it's a, it's a new crowd. Absolutely. So, it's, it's different, but I have a, have a couple of people that I've known since I was a little kid. I started my first year with one player called Noah Bowers, great player, uh, offensive lineman, and fullback, and he's been with me since the get-go, so. Okay, and then, I mean, hey, you turned it around, you clearly know enough people, if your coaches are naming you captain, that means that they trust you and trust how you can handle your teammates. So now moving forward, Mackenzie, you played your, you played your high school year, going into your first year of varsity. What do you think that's going to be like for you? Honestly, I think it's going to be a little scary, I guess would be the best word. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not super tall. I'm pretty big, but I'm definitely not the biggest by far, you know. It'll be like my, I think it'll be like my first year in JV, just kind of the smaller kid. I was the youngest on the team, and it'll be the same again this year. So it'll be a it'll be a challenge, but I'm willing to do it, put in the work. Okay, all right, good to hear. So when you say that you're an under, you're an undersized guy, you're not the tallest guy, uh, you're not the biggest guy. What is it then? What makes you a good defensive lineman? I mean, you're a conference all star. No matter how you slice it, you can be as humble as you want, but some something about your play speaks for itself. So what is it? Do you think if you can put your thumb on it, that makes you so good? Um, I think it's that I understand leverage. You know, since I'm not the biggest guy, I I can't just bull rush everyone. I can't use my weight against them. I have to make sure that I stay low, do my job, stick in my gap. And I can't bust up the field. And uh, you know, I personally I believe I have very good footwork. My coaches have told me that before, and it's uh, I think that helps a lot too. Yeah, absolutely. It all it all starts with the feet. Ask anybody. Yeah, that's a it's a good thing to have no matter what sport you're playing. So absolutely. I think, I think a thing that maybe you should ask your Myers coaches about is a young man called Ettorio Latanzio. He now plays for uh, University of Ottawa. And he was, he was about the same, around the same size, I guess you could say, as you were. And he wasn't the biggest guy always, but he knew how to use his leverage. And I've watched him put the biggest offensive lineman in the country now in CIS on their back with that leverage. So with that, you're saying, you're saying it almost as if it's a bad thing, but... There's something to be gained from it. And I think if you, if you get a good understanding of that, which it sounds like you do, it's going to help you out in the long run. 
So Mackenzie, what are you doing yeah. now then? Because you're saying you're a little nervous moving up. What are you doing this offseason to make sure that when, by the time the spring ball runs around, you're going to be ready to go? Well, I uh, had a bit of a setback this winter. I didn't get to train very much because of a previous injury halfway through the Encafa season. So recently I've started training again after I got clearance from the physiotherapy center at Carleton University. And uh, I think it was last week I began training with a CFL player named Jonathan Williams. He plays for the Red Blacks, mm-hmm. defensive lineman. He's a stand-up guy. <laughs> he's super nice. So I feel like I trust him and he's going to help me out a lot. Okay, good stuff. Talk to us a little bit about that injury. I mean, injuries happen to a lot of guys. A lot of football players, we're all, we're all aware of that. What's that done for you mentally? I mean, how, how difficult was it for you to have to, I guess, for lack of better words, sit in your butt for a little while and relax when really you might have wanted to get out there and put some weight on your back and be squatting the house? How, how difficult was that mentally for you? Um, it, was a, it was a little bit of a hard time. You know, I had to sit around a lot, didn't do much, didn't walk around. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not the same as a broken arm or something. You know, broken arm, I've played with that before. But... Uh, you know, I'm excited to get back there this year. I'm excited to do my best, make the team. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, then let's talk a little bit about your goals, Mackenzie. What do you, what does football mean to you? Is it, is it where you want to see yourself, what you, what, sorry, what you want to see yourself doing for the next couple of years? Or is it a, is it a right now thing until you're out of high school? Or do you got dreams for a little something bigger? You know, it's a, it'd definitely be nice to get some college out of it. You know, I love the love the game. You know, if I didn't, I wouldn't be playing. So, I, I see myself probably most likely going to a college. You know, Saint John or even Bill Abbott would be would be a very good time. Okay. <laughs> Do you see yourself playing in the CIS anytime soon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what? If I if I had to ask, do you think does does location matter for you? Do you think you're going to be an OUA guy, a RCQ guy, out east, out west? What do you think? Honestly, I don't mind. Uh, football is big to me, but education is also so. Depending on the program that, depending on the program the school has, it'll all depend on that. Okay, all right. So, what do you think? If we had to, if we had to give you a, a slogan or a, a short little, short little quip, a, a word or two about yourself, what describes you, Mackenzie Richards, as a football player? What is it? Is it hard? Is it a hard work, dedicated guy? Is it a big loud mouth? What makes you you? If you had to describe yourself in, in two or three words to a coach, what would you say? All right, well, uh, I guess I'm initially a bit quiet, but I'm also an aggressor, so I uh, have, have a bit of an attitude, Okay. so I guess that would be it. Hey, that's how we like to see our D-linemen. I mean, there's nothing like a nasty D-lineman in the middle to mess somebody up. Where do you where do you like playing more? Are you a defensive end, or are you okay with moving inside? I'm actually a defensive tackle yeah. slash nose, you know, I move around on the inside, but I'm uh, trying to get my speed up, and I'm trying to... Maybe branch out to defensive end. That way, there's more opportunities for me. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Mackenzie, we're we're gonna be watching. We're we are we're always watching our Ottawa Myers Riders on this here at House Edge. We're we're nice and close to home, so it's gonna be easy for us. But best of luck. I mean, now that you're healed up, keep on working with Mr. Williams. He got there, and keep on training hard. And we're hoping to see the best out of you. We're hoping to see you on the field and making some plays. It's been it's been a great pleasure talking to you, my man. Everyone here at House Edge Media. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for joining us. All right, thanks, man. Have a good day. And for everyone here, we want to say thank you guys for watching. This has been OVFL Podcast. You've been watching On the Radar with Mackenzie Richards. Have a good day.